All right, can I get everyone's attention, please? Por favor. My name is Tamian Dyser, and I'm one of the co-founders of Think 3D. I want to give you a quick uh, five-minute overview of the program, what's going to happen this evening, and definitely want to get to the meat of, the, of tonight, which is celebrating these young men and women, um, our leaders of tomorrow, and the program and the impact that this program has had on them. One of the key constructs of what we do in our training um, is called SOIL, so S-O-I-L. The S stands for um, soak in. When you go through the information, what did you soak in in that moment? Um, the O, when you look at the next week or two weeks, how are you observant of that topic? How are you observant of people around you in your workspace, in your homes, etc.? The I, what are you going to implement specifically? Because if you try to accomplish 20 different things, you'll become the master of none. We've all been there, I understand that. And then the L was looking back and reflecting over that. I want to invite up Eric. Eric Roberts, he is from First Premier Bank, and I will let him tell a story. So everyone give him a round of applause. In March, I was presented with an opportunity to take this class. That was the reason why we're here today. In over 16 weeks, I was able to uh, develop some skills and some some traits that I feel like have helped me grow as a person and then I was able to uh, bestow those to my superiors and my leaders of my job. In week one we learned that we exist to add value and that leadership is defined by influence. And so I saw an opportunity to add value to my company and to hopefully show some skills that I could influence the right people who could implement change. With proper training and being intentional with our, our acts and our behaviors that we can all be leaders, um, no matter what position we are, uh, whether we're at an entry level at myself or you are the CEO of your company. I'm so thankful for the men of Think 3D and the way they've poured into my life. They've helped to restore a confidence in me that I lost personally as a partner and parent, professionally as a life skills coach for Lutheran Social Services, and as a community volunteer. What excites me about this is I'm now able to use my perspective, my insights to pay it forward. I'm honored to be a part of this group. I'm committed to being exactly who I am. One of the things that we always try to communicate to the people who are participating is that we are a collection of contributions that people bestow upon us. That, that we're gifted with, that we are a library of lessons that other people have taught us, right? And we have an opportunity to pay that forward. The one thing that you want more than anything is reinforcements. The one thing you want more than anything is the Calvary. Other people who have your same passion, that are ignited by the same things, that are willing to do the work with you so that we can take our city and our community to the next level. This is how we replenish the ranks. This is how we grow that community. This is how we make it so that there's more doers than watchers. And there's more believers than naysayers. The only way that we change that tide, the only way that we shift what is happening in our community and our world that we see every single day, whether it be in our news, in our social media, in our conversations, there is nothing that we see on a regular basis that is promoted to us or put in front of our faces that suggests that we're moving in the direction that we want to be moving into. This is an opportunity to stem that tide, to change that tail. Invest in leadership. In my personal opinion, I go back and I look and I was like, geez, I missed so much before this class. I missed so much in my life that I didn't notice before. And this was just eye opening for me and maturing, like I said. So if you have a chance to go to this class, take everything from it and share it. We can leave this course and we have all the tools for continuous improvement. Um, continuous improvement is something that I was exposed to probably a year ago, but that's really a lot of what Bonnie and Tamian teach. It's great for programs like this to be funded because it brings, it, bring, it, 
it brings understanding from all different perspectives and outlooks, outlooks and everything. Therefore, you develop in these leaders. So when a situation does arise, you have a strong community foundation. I've known Vani and Tamin for like two or three years. And just like six months ago, I was talking to Vani and was like, do you ever do mentorship? Because I like am in this place where I have all these avenues in front of me being a like 27 or 28 year old. And I don't know where to go. I'm just, I'm just right here, all these avenues, but I'm not going down any of them really. And he's like, absolutely, come by on Sunday night. So I did that, and we're kind of dialoguing all those things, the things I have in front of me, and he goes, oh yeah, we have this leadership development program starting next week. Do you want to be in it? And I'm like, yes. So like, if I wanted to like, take the audacity and reach out to Vani, I may not have been in this thing and had the gratitude that I have with uh, Vani and Taming for some of these skills. From this class, I'll always go back to thinking, what did I learn? And it's about living with intention. So if you intend to be better, how can I you know, use this course and go back to what I've learned? and teach others about it and continue to develop on, my, on myself.